Here in the Piedmont Triad, hotels are filling up with storm survivors from Western North Carolina. Fox 8 Celeste Smith joins us live in Winston-Salem. Celeste, what are you seeing? Well, today I had a chance to visit several of the hotels here in the city, many which are already booked up or nearly full. And I had a chance to speak with some of those evacuees who came to Winston-Salem, and they said that it took them hours to navigate through that destruction, but they're now thankful to have a place to rest their heads, take a while and just eat, and then maybe catch their breath, and then also contact their family members. They said if we can get out, get out. Leaving, it was a tough decision for Patrick Carter. His family packed up, including the dog, evacuating from Asheville. He said it was no longer safe. We, we had supplies, but once it ran out, we didn't have any water or anything. So we were flushing toilet with the pool, pool water. So it's been kind of crazy. They made it to their hotel in Winston-Salem on Monday. It's supposed to be a three hour drive, but the family faced so many obstacles, it took them nearly seven hours to get to Winston-Salem. It was just total destruction, trees down. Everything was washed out. Um, it was really hard to get out of the city because all the roads were just upended and closed. After arriving, Carter says they faced another challenge, finding a place to stay. We're going to stay in another place that was totally booked, and on the way over, every hotel we saw that we might be able to stay at, it was just booked solid. In Winston-Salem, Hilton Garden Inn on Creekshire Way is fully booked. Majority of their guests are from Western North Carolina. FEMA has also secured rooms there. Home Two Suites on Marriott Crossing Way has extended stay rooms. 80% of their rooms are booked. Hotel staff said many are evacuated families. La Quinta Inn and Suites on Griffith Road is where the Carters are now staying. It's 70% booked with majority of the guests from Western North Carolina. Carter is enjoying the comfort, but in his heart, he knows he won't stay long. He's getting supplies and will start the trek back home right into the unknown. We gotta get these supplies to people. But we, we, we have people that we know have stayed behind where we are that didn't have anything and they didn't have a way to get out. Carter plans to leave Friday. Many of those major roads are starting to reopen. And while those roads are still reopening, he could still face some obstacles, but his route could be faster. Live in Winston-Salem, Celeste Smith, Fox 8 News. Celeste, thank you. And this